Let's get you in here so you can see this one. I mean, this is a slab. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm fishing for crappie again today. Hopefully you can see me with the sun behind me. But uh, crappie been getting a lot of pressure. Uh, we had a big tournament here Saturday with uh, over 40 boats fishing in the crappie tournament. So when the crappie are feeling that much pressure, uh, you don't want to just pull up to the brush pile and or the structure that they're going to be on to start fishing for them. So give yourself about 30, 40 feet away, cast out to them, let that bait drift right across the top of them, see if they'll strike it that way. That way they're not feeling that uh, stress. Of, they know you're there, but you're going to spook them if you're right on top of them. So do that if they're feeling a lot of pressure. I'm using the Temple Fork Outfitters. It's the seven footer medium light uh, fast rod today. They're a great rod, great company. So fish the original TFO. And I'm throwing a little two and a half inch a little shad looking bait trying to uh, mirror what the bait is in the water. It's very windy today. We're blowing about 18 miles an hour today. It's supposed to get up to 25. So boat control when it's that windy can be difficult sometimes. So comes another one after it. Got him. So that's two in a row, just casting out there to the brush. And then letting them hit it. And it's going to that smaller bait that worked. Okay. This one's probably just under 10, but pretty crappy. There's one that one came up after it. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Twelve and a half, thirteen inch crappie. There we go. Nice little crappie. He's so broad top to bottom that he doesn't He's not fitting. I'm gonna have to get my. Yeah, he doesn't fit in there. Let's, let's get the measuring stick. Measuring stick says he is a hair under. I mean, just a hair under 13 inches. Nice little crappie. Just a hair under 13 inches. Let him go. Ready? He gone. I like it when they don't fit in the in the measuring cup here they're too big to fit width wise in there that's a good size crappie let's drop on them again okay coming right by him again small one came up after it we don't want the small one Small one's got it, I think. Yep. The small one came out to get it. The big one did not. There's one. It's a nice one. Oh, it's a big crappie. Big, big slab. No joke. Let's get you in here so you can see this one. I mean, this is a slab. Over 15 inches. Let's give it a quick measure. That's a big one. 15 inch crappie right at, right at the dock. 15. Good crappie. And you're like, why are you throwing it back? I have plenty of fish in the in the freezer so I don't need to keep everything that I catch I'm just doing it for fun today and this wind is blowing so I switched to a different jig I switched to a bonehead tackle two and a half inch minnow and the color is a bleeding shiner as soon as I got right in front of him he came up and just nailed it
right underneath this log and this branch there's a fish right there I'm hung up on the branch that's a fish it's crappy come on skinny right at 10 inches There's one. That was a very, very soft bite. Come on, get out of there. I got you free, and I hook you again. All right, let's get the pliers. Hey everybody, had a good day today, that was it. Cut a lot of crappie, uh, it was very windy, wind's blowing 30 miles an hour, so it's very choppy. I had to try to find some places that were protected in order to, to fish, just because it was so hard to hold position and uh, boat control with the trolling motor in the wind. But caught several crappie, the biggest was 15 inches, nice slab. And um, like I said at the beginning, uh, this lake right now is very pressured people fishing we had a big tournament two weeks or two days ago excuse me and uh, so when they're pressured that way you don't want to just pull up to a brush pile or that structure that they're on and drop right on them it's going to spook them so sit off to the side about 30 feet pitch it out to them let it swing the jig or bait swing back over them and uh, catch them that way and that worked uh, but then i went up into some uh, timber and caught some that way so all in all that was a great day we'd hit that like and subscribe we appreciate it we'll give you tips along the way and then we'll see you on the water next time thanks